Hi, my friends. Welcome to EFCLA Children Congregations. Let us come together in worship and praise. Good morning. How are you doing? Hope, hopefully you are all good and that you are safe at home. Um, I don't know how much of the fire uh, in the last few days or weeks has affected you, but hopefully you are all safe at home. And uh, I believe most of you feel the um, big earthquake happened Friday night. Uh, luckily, it's a, a short one. Um, so again, um, hopefully you are all safe at home. So today we'll talk about uh, the book of Jeremiah, chapter 33. Um, so um, before uh, we start, let's pray together. Dear God, we thank you for this time so we can get together to share your word and teaching. And keep, please keep us safe. Please keep all of us safe at home or at work or for um, all my little brother and sister who are attending schools. Uh, we pray this in your precious name. Amen. So the book of Jeremiah, of course, is a, uh, um, let's kind of give a, uh, who is Jeremiah? So according to some scholar, uh, he was born 650 years before Christ. And he's a prophet, and he's called by God for prophetic ministry. So what's a, a prophet? Um, he's, he was able to tell the people uh, thing that hasn't happened, and that's a thing that God has told him and he, uh, in, in turn, he told the people Israelites. He also wrote this book of Jeremiah as he was commanded by 
by the God. And this is uh, recorded in the book of Jeremiah. This is what the Lord, the God of Israel says, right in a book, all the words I have spoken to you. So you see in this picture, this is Jeremiah. He is not only uh, told Israelites what God told him, he also uh, written down all the words uh, God um, have spoken to him. So uh, the chapter 33, um, in, in a way, is very similar to other chapters. It's kind of um, give us some background of where uh, the time Jeremiah was in and the, the, the message uh, Jeremiah told Israelites. So specifically, uh, this is at the time where um, the, the, the country or the kingdom of Babylonian, they are attacking um, uh, Israelites at Jerusalem. And uh, eventually the, the city was uh, captured by Babylonian and they killed many peoples and they took all the treasures and left nothing in Jerusalem. And this was recorded by Jeremiah in Jeremiah, the book of Jeremiah. So this is what the scripture says. The houses in the city and the royal palace of Judah that have been torn down to be used against the siege ramps and the sword in the fire with the Babylonians. They will be filled with the dead bodies of the people. So eventually, um, the, the city of Jerusalem was captured. And what happened to Israelites? Some of them died and most of them are captured. And uh, the troop of a Babylonian, they took all the Israelites from Jerusalem and they took them to Babylon. And like uh, Jeremiah said in a book, he says that this is what the Lord says. You said about this place. It is a desolate west without people or animals. So let's look at where Jerusalem is. If um, this is uh, the world map, so you have Europe uh, here, you have Africa here, you have Asia here. So Jerusalem kind of in the middle of three continents or in the con conjunction of the three continents. So with that, um, if you blow up this region, this is where the map shows. Here is a Jerusalem. And here is a Babylon. And the um, Israelites were taken uh, from Jerusalem to travel all the way up and uh, follow the Euphrates River to Babylon. It is a thousand miles away from their home. And they just lived there for 70 years before they can go back to their homeland. So remember that this, is, this trip is way before uh, Jeremiah's time, but he recorded because God already know this is happening and uh, God told uh, Jeremiah to put on the book. And this is what it was uh, written. I will bring Judah and Israel back from captivity and they will rebuild them as they were before. God already know after 70 years living in uh, Babylon, Israelis will be returned to uh, Jerusalem. And once they return to the Jerusalem, they start rebuild their temples. They are worshiping God, and uh, uh, they are God's people again, just as uh, described in Jeremiah. This is what he says: "I will bring Judah and Israel back from captivity, and will rebuild them as they were before." I will cleanse them from all the sin 
they have committed against me and will forgive all their sins of rebellion against me. So this is a, a 70 years long trip. Um, they've been taken away from their homeland and return. And then they rebuild the temple so they can worship God and that they become God's children again. But there's something more. Um, God's not just returned to where they were, but God want to give more. So in Jeremiah, it is written, in those days and that time, I will make a righteous branch sprout from David's line. He will do what is just and right in this, in this lane. So here on our show, uh, this is the family tree of David. This is King David. And they follow this line, then you see Joseph. Um, and the other line, you see Mary. And when Joseph and Mary met each other, this way when Jesus was born. So that's what in, uh, was saying in this passage that um, God will make a righteous branch. It's like a tree and Jesus just in the, the family tree of David. Um, and God, way before Jesus was born, God already told um, the Israelites through Jeremiah that Jesus will do what is just and the right in this land. So let's review what has happened. The Israelis has been rebellion. They're worshiping other gods. They are, um, even though their um, God keep give them warnings uh, through uh, prophets, and eventually Israel was captured. Um, Jerusalem was, was captured and Israelis was exiled and they moved to Babylon for 70 years. And eventually they were able to go back to Jerusalem and uh, when, where they built the temple and uh, believe in God again. About 500 years later, Jesus was born and come to this world, just like Jeremiah uh, described in, uh, in the book of Jeremiah um, almost 600 years ago. So this is the period of time where when Jeremiah uh, lives in the... So in this book, the 70 years in Babylon, uh, the return to Jerusalem, and uh, uh, Jesus Christ was all in this chapter, chapter 33. So in addition to the story we just read, which is a amazing by itself, because um, Jeremiah was able to predict or foretold, foretell what's going to happen in the next few hundred years. Um, of course, it's not his ability, is that God gave that to him. But I think the more, even more important about the story um, is about hope. So um, God, the reason God want uh, Jeremiah to write down all this message is to give the people Israelis a hope, knowing that even they are in different country, they're away from the homeland, they have a hope that one day they will return to their Jerusalem uh, where their ancestors live. But also give a hope that one day Jesus will come and he will bring just and the peace to everyone in this world. So with that, that's today's passage. And uh, um, let's um, pray together. Dear Jesus, please help us when we run into troubles. Give us hope when it seems hopeless and let us be joyful and grateful 
knowing that you are with us all the time. In your name we pray. Amen. All right. So this is for today. Um, I hope that you enjoy the rest of the, your Sunday, and uh, I'll see you next time.